you have gotten very tied into the Mariners community over the last few years. And you're a national baseball guy. You cover all 30 teams. But I feel like when we really start to see the transition of you talking about the Mariners a lot more was when the coin phrase of America's team started, which was coined by you. It yeah. was the summer of 2021. I think I remember how it started, but I want to hear it from you how it started and why you thought to yourself, like, people need to be following the Mariners. Yeah, so I, I remember that night pretty vividly. Uh, we were talking a little bit about it before I went on, but I was like, listen, that was, uh, I mean, so I, I don't know what you guys, I'm assuming, have seen my TV set up before. Mm-hmm. Yes. So I, for anyone that's it's not one of the most impressive ones I've ever seen. <laughs> for anyone that hasn't seen it or heard about it, I, my TV room, I have a 75 inch TV in the middle, and then there's a shoehorn of eight other like 45 inch TVs around it. So there's nine screens. Um, and I'm watching all, like all these games every single night. And obviously uh, as an East coast guy, like I start out watching the Red Sox on the big TV, but by the end of the night, like that big TV is occupied by a West coast team because I mean, just that's how time zones work. Uh, and I remember that night where, you know, you had the, Kendall Graveman trade the day before. Um, and I'm thinking to myself, like, you know, the Mariners are on my radar, but then you have that trade go down and you're like, well, why did they do that? Like, it just felt like, especially to that team, like they're a team that Seattle is competing with within the division. And it's like that. I don't Why? Like, it just didn't make like, that must've been so deflating for the players in that clubhouse. And I remember, you know, you make the trade and you're also playing them right now. The Mariners are playing the Houston Astros. So I want to say it was the last game on the slate. Like it was, um, I, I can't remember if it went into extra innings or not, but it was a lengthy game. So all the other games had ended and I was live tweeting it from like the first inning, like trying to get people to pay attention to this storyline and then it got to the point where it was the only game that was on. So people were tweeting me being like, I wasn't even paying attention to this game, but like I saw you tweet about it. So like now I'm hooked on Mariners and Astros baseball right now. And I'm a Blue Jays fan. Like I don't give a shit about either one of these teams, but I'm I'm hooked now. Um, and then Dylan Moore ends up hitting that home run. And it was just like this big payoff where it was almost like, it was almost like I was telling people to watch a movie and be like, dude, trust me, it's a, it's an awesome movie. You're going to love it. And then they give it a shot, and they're like, thank you for the recommendation. That was an awesome movie. But, like, I didn't know it was going to end awesome for the Mariners. I kind of just was, like, rooting for them, knew that the storyline was kind of bubbling on the surface there. Um, so, yeah, I just, like, was, like, live-tweeting the game the whole night and was drawing eyeballs from uh, outside the market fans, and it became almost like this – Mariners watch along with baseball fans that didn't have any vested interest in either team leading up to that game. Uh, and then the payoff was just so cool <laughs> with the Dylan Moore Homer. Um, and then I kind of just rode the wave with the Mariners the rest of the way. Um, it was a fun season. I, I had a great time, you know, like kind of getting invested over the summer and then riding it until the very end and then kind of seeing it through to the next year like i'm sure like we'll talk about like my first experience uh seeing a game in seattle was the first playoff game in 20 years there but like i i wanted to see it through like it like me going so i guess like let's jump ahead to that then uh i i missed my cousin's wedding he is like he's my age we basically grew up together and i missed his wedding to be at that game the first playoff game in Seattle in 20 years, I missed his wedding to be there. And it was just like, Hey, you know, like, this is what you sign up for. You know, like I'm not playing major league baseball, but like what I'm doing is the big leagues of the industry. Like we are covering baseball at the top of the top. And like, you wouldn't look at Julio Rodriguez and be like, dude, why weren't you at my wedding? It's like, Oh, cause I was in the playoffs. It's like, all right, well, you know, this is the first playoff game in 20 years in Seattle. We have to be there to cover it. Like, it is what it is. Sucks that I can't be there, but, like, I got to be there. 
So yeah, no, that was uh that was an awesome, awesome night outside of not getting the win. What is it about that day that you remember vividly? What 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 stood out to you about the atmosphere of that environment at T Mobile Park? Uh the fact that no one sat down the entire time. <laughs> like like I was trying to I was excited to be there. I was having a blast. It was a great baseball game, but I'm a Red Sox fan. So I'm like, I'm thinking, cause I already did this. I three years prior. Yeah, no, four years prior 2018. I was in LA for the 18 inning game against the Dodgers. Um, but I'm in LA and like Dodger fans are obviously not nearly, I mean like they're passionate, but like you could sit down during that one. Uh, Mariners fans were like, like, I remember I tweeted out the quote, like people were kind of complaining by the 11th or 12th inning. Like someone said something like, Oh, sit down. And I remember a dude sitting behind me was like, we waited 20 years. To, you've been, you've had the chance to sit down for 20 years, stand up. So yeah, like that's what I remember most is if you needed to sit down, you were also accepting the fact that you weren't going to be able to see the game because everyone was on their feet for all 18 innings the entire time. And nobody left, period. That, nobody left. That might be the most amazing thing there about, oh, like, like Mariners fans. Like, they had been through a lot, a lot of Tuesday night, 30-degree, you know, mediocre baseball games where you can leave in the fifth inning. It's like, all right, that's fine. But then the playoff game rolls around, and, you know, Lau and I were there. We were sitting all the way up in the top of, of the corner of right field. Mm-hmm. Our section was full the whole time. It, nobody ever left. That is the last section to fill every single game, and it's the first one that people leave from. But nobody left. And it was just an, one of the more incredible environments I'd ever been to. And, Jared, could you, as an, an outsider to Mariners fandom, did, did you sort of feel the emotion when Felix came back in? Did you sort of, like, oh. feel that that just wave of, like, of Dude, happiness I almost to see cried. him there in that environment. <laughs> like, I almost <laughs> cried. I, there were people sitting near me that were crying. Like, they were crying. And so I don't know if you saw that I did this, but because it had been 20 years since the Mariners had played a home playoff game, I felt bad about being there. Selfishly, I wanted to be there, and I had the opportunity to be there because of my job. But I felt bad about being there. So what I did was, I bought two tickets to the game and I gave them away to like, I like put the tweet up being like, Hey, like tell me why you deserve to be there. And like, I wanted to make sure that like two diehard Mariner fans were going to get the chance to go to this game. Be it, I was like buying off my guilt of like occupying a seat. Like I didn't feel like I deserved to be there, but I wanted to be a part of it. Uh, so I made sure I was like, Hey, I'm buying fucking two tickets. Can I swear on this? Oh yeah, go ahead. Yeah, we say shit all the time. <laughs> no, all yeah. you want. Like, like I, uh, uh, I was like, I'm making sure that like I'm buying two seats for like a diehard Mariner, and it was like a father and son. Like, like yeah. So, um, it was a very special night. The only regret that I have is that they didn't score a run. Like that 18 inning game, Red Sox Dodgers in L.A. Uh, there was at least like lead changes and um. Like the Red Sox scored, I think, in like the 12th, but then the Dodgers answered. And then ultimately, like Max Muncy hit the walk off in the 18th. Like this was just a one nothing ball game where I was like, please give them something to erupt about. Like the, it's not just that they've been waiting 18 innings to erupt. They've been waiting 20 years for this. Uh, I think I maybe it was Julio that had like a laser double mm-hmm. off the wall at one point. Like that was probably like peak excitement in terms of like, let's get loud. Um, but yeah, like I was just hoping someone hit a homer in the first eight innings to where it's like, you know, if we're going to go extras, let's go extras. But like, give us that moment to, to let it rip. And it just never came. 